Sentai. Welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode number 204. This is discussing episodes, well, 48 to 50 of Changement. Normally, if I got any other series, except for this one, the original, and one other Sentai I have review, review, review in the future, this would be pretty much the end of the series. But no, this is not the case, because this is the second longest one in the entire franchise. Now, with these three episodes, we start off the eight ep with three of the of the eight episode Endgame arc. Yes, we're reaching toward the very end. The first episode reveals a little bit of backstory of Space Pirate Boba, and this episode, the following one, is pretty much the same exact plot thread. Like, oh, we have Super God who wants to turn members of his own turn turn his own men into space beast for. Well, he's like, well, I can do whatever I want because I'm the because I'm super chaotic. Yes, that's his thing. He tries to transfer space to Boba. That got interrupted. And of course, reveal, reveals a little bit the fact. Of, now, here's the thing: the viewer who anybody watched this series knew he was a former space pirate. Well, he still is one, and they reveal with his a former companion of his, Lady Pirate Jill. That is actually her name. And apparently these two were, in fact, treasure pirates. They go around raiding stuff, and of course they just bathe in the, the gold. Then, of course, the, the ship got lost. Now, the thing is, I don't know if they have any other crew aside from these two. They don't really say. It has also been revealed that she actually has feelings for space pirate Boba. Yes. Never run away. We see her spaceship, not their... Spaceship that apparently was destroyed by the plant master. Now here's the thing. They were just robbing stuff, so why the heck would he go attack pirates for? This makes no freaking sense. His whole thing is that he destroys planets. Why got the single spaceship? What were, were they attacking him when, when, he, when he ran into them? Not really a village, just the ship was destroyed and presumably their flag the ship was lost. And then of course he's the flag, his flag and like, wait, what is this doing here? And of course, it was like, oh, I, I found that basically at the rebel of our old spaceship. And of course, their current spaceship is a freaking flying saucer. And apparently, look, well, look, well, it looks to be like they're, I would say, a companion of hers. Yeah, it turns out he changed sides. Wow, that's something. Then of course, they, the 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 change him fighting him, and the space power bomber does not turn to a beast man, but. Shema does. Yep, she does. Though, apparently, that the events of 49 does lead to episode 50. Yes. Where, like, they try to basically, like, they, they actually succeed transfer her into a, a, a space beast monster that makes her look like Medusa. No joke, she looks like freaking Medusa. And she spends the whole episode wearing this suit. And then, of course, thanks to a flute that Gator's son, Wadjar, plays. Yeah, he feels, oh yeah, basically, it's not about his home. Eventually, she be separated from the, from the Space Beast monster form. And a few of the Hydra soldiers get merged with the creature to form a, give it a monstrous face. And eventually, the thing is destroyed. This would play a role in the very next episode with destroying this flute. And the flute was eventually destroyed. By Roger himself, basically, he finds out his father works for the bad guys. Oh, and also in episode 50, the the steed that Queen Albus has been riding since episode 34. Yeah, they split two separate space beasts. Though by the episode, one of them, I believe it's the one who actually has the, has the freezing power, is destroyed by the end of the episode, and eventually the other one is, well, we'll deal with him in the next episode. And the only reason why this happened, because Borza... It's getting tired of the same exact words heard over and over again. So he's like, I'm taking your steaming of two super space beasts. Interesting idea. And yeah, that's not much else to say about it. Just just really good idea. And of course, they kind of executed it. They actually deal with two space beasts at the same time. As far as I can tell, I think this was the first episode of the whole series where they actually had more than one space beast do it. Because usually they only deal with one at this point in time. It's time to deal with two. Now you might be asking, Nick, how many more monsters are left to go for this franchise? Like, how many left to go for this series? 
don't think you're that many likes. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think there's that much left to go for uh, monsters. I don't think so. Okay, there is actually one monster left. No, seriously, there is one official monster left, and that's it. Just one. Yeah, there is officially one monster left. It shows the 52, and that is literally the final monster. Because, well, they they run out of monsters with episode... Apparently, you could say the last special regular monster they had for a little bit was probably Jagra. In episode 4, it came just before the... Jagra, of course, he's destroyed the same episode. Yep, but pretty good episodes. And, well, like I said, we're leading to the finale. Now, tomorrow, now the only reason I didn't exactly do more episodes because it's getting kind of late and I kind of need to get some sleep. So, tomorrow, I'll cap off the rest. Okay, next video. Bye.